Warning, if you follow the steps in this video and you watch to the very end, I promise you're going to find out how to make your very own texture pack that you can then sell and make money with. I'm also going to be sharing some of my experiences doing this over the past couple of years that have worked for me. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. My goal with each one of these videos is to help you as a creative learn something new and that we all grow together. And if there's ever anything you guys would love me to cover in the future, a, a different topic, perhaps uh, mention that in the comment below and I would love to cover that for you in the future video. All right, without further ado, let's get into this video, making and selling your very own texture pack. See, over the past few years as a designer, I found myself spending countless amounts of money on texture packs until one day I thought to myself, why don't I just make my own? And that's exactly what I did. I went to Hobby Lobby, walked in the paper aisle, grabbed about five pieces of black paper. Then I brought them home into my garage and took a piece of sandpaper and began to rough them up and scrape them up, fold them, crinkle them until I was happy with how they looked. And then I took pictures of just my iPhone, not even a special camera or anything. I just took my iPhone, took some pictures of these uh, roughed up pieces of black paper, brought them into Photoshop, began to edit them. And then when I was happy with the way they looked, I packaged them up and then sold them online. And what took me uh, just $10 total was the cost of this project and two hours probably total of time, uh, then ended up making me $1,500 that month inside income which is amazing. I know it sounds unbelievable, but I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this for yourself, step by step. So let's get into that. First thing I did was go to Walmart and buy two pieces of black paper for $1.37 each. Then I went over and bought some sandpaper for $2.08 to roughen up and scratch up my paper with, bringing my total at checkout to $5.14 total. Then I brought the stuff home and began to cut the paper in half so that it equaled four separate sheets of black paper. And then I took the sandpaper and began to rough in and scratch up each individual piece, giving it folds and crinkles along the way so that each piece was not the same, but each piece was unique in its own way. Then once I was happy with how they looked, I then took pictures of each piece of paper and brought them over into Photoshop and began to edit each one. All right, so now that we got our textures made, let's just see how they look. So here's our textures. I'm gonna open up this one, bring it over into Photoshop. Here's what it looks like. You can easily now drag and drop it onto a photo or a graphic. Set your blend mode to lighten per screen and it gives it that paper texture look. So this one, all right. There you go, now it looks like a crinkled old piece of paper. You could adjust, you can go into adjustments, levels, mess with the darks and lights. So it looks like that, there you go. Once I export the pieces of paper and I'm happy with how they look, I then zip the files up and I sell them on an online portal called eJunkie. Unlike other websites that I found out there that take like a 50% cut of whatever you make, eJunkie is just $4 a month. So I, I really like that and enjoyed that part of it. Um, and once I got up to about, I wanna say eight, products on there, then it jumped to $8 a month. So um, but all that to say, $8 a month, $4 a month, 
um, to me, beat 50% of my earned income, giving it away. So um, it's just worth checking out your options, but eJunkie uh, has seemed to work for me the best uh, in selling digital online products. So the last step would be promoting the product. So I put together a couple of social media graphics to get the word out there, and that seemed to help with my following and community. Um, so yeah, if you want to put together a couple graphics of your own to promote your texture pack, um, I would encourage that and hopefully you have the same luck that I did. So that's it for today's video. I hope that this has helped you in some way uh, learn the process um, step by step. And I hope it encourages you to then take these steps and then make your own texture pack. I wish you guys all the success. If this video has helped you, please do me a favor and like and subscribe to the videos. Um, and they will ensure that I keep making these week after week and we keep growing together. So with that said, keep creating and keep sharing your art with the world. Thank you for watching. Thank you.